What's up, everyone? Welcome to DJC Game Studios. I am the devastating Just Cause, as you know. Sans wristbands. Feel naked. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about some Intellivision Amico stuff, uh, original Intellivision things, and um, just a few ideas that I have on games that I, I would, I, or what I would wish to see in certain games. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but hey, a guy can dream, right? First of all, let's talk about my top five anticipated games for the Miko. I'm going to say my number one. Um, I guess they're not really in any order, but these are my top five. No, number one would be Astro Smash. I love Astro Smash. I I remember watching my dad get to the sixth level for the first time. I'm like, it went back, went to black. Everything's going crazy. And then the UFO comes out, and the little twirlers are going, falling down like crazy. That was one of my favorite games. It just and, and then it was just like it was it was hard, but it was fun. But it was also, it would give you so many extra guys the harder it got that you just kept playing and playing. And we'd play for, like, hours. Um, so that was, like, a, just a lot of nostalgia and memories on that. And then when I when I packed up and moved to California um, back in the in in '99 all the way till 2005 2006 something like that, um, I brought all my video games with me. I had a 3DO, I had a Turbo Graphics, I had a Turbo Graphics Turbo Duo. I don't get me into that. I'll talk to, about Turbo Graphics forever. But I also had a uh, uh, an Intellivision 2 and an original Intellivision and my original games. And my one buddy's like, dude, we gotta hook up a second. This is before flat screen, so we're like, we gotta have hook up a second uh, TV in the uh, display. And I was like, yeah. So I was, we were already on it. Went to a, a thrift store, picked up like another tube TV set. So I had two TVs in the one uh, entertainment center, and so one we just game on, and the other we, you know, people watch TV because not everybody in the house that we shared of five different band dudes. Um, <laughs> wanted to play video games so we'd always have a separate one but we'd pull out burger time and my, me and my buddy jason played burger time and then we'd play uh um astro smash and, and it was just like it was it, it, it's like it's never stopped like the intellivision's always been in my life from remembering playing with my with my dad and i just remember him having friends over and they'd all sit around pull kitchen chairs around put put the intellivision unit on a kitchen chair and they'd all play golf because I think you could play up to four players in golf I, I could be wrong but you know you pass your controller same with bowling and um so then after that I moved back to Michigan um you know about six seven years later um and, and uh the only thing I did not sell is my original intellivision and all my games I sold everything else because I needed money to pay rent and blah 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 like, sold my Turbo Duo, sold, st oh, it was worth so much. I think I got, like, next to, you know, at the time, no one cared. Now it's, like, collectible, you know. But I go back, and um, <clears throat> what happened is I turned in, and I think I mentioned this in another video, we had at my house, uh, the house I grew up in, out in the garage, I had made this hangout. We had <laughs> rolled out carpet on one half of this two-car garage, um, all the old uh, couches, because we were redoing uh, our front room, so all the old couches, we had a dining room table, a fridge, a microwave, uh, We ran, I ran cable to there, and then I did this giant sheet of drywall, um, framed it out and painted it, and we had a projector and surround sound. And what did we project on this gigantic, probably 100-inch screen or whatever? In television, baseball, bowling, head tournament, stuff like that. So it's con constantly been since as a kid up till now in my life. So I love in television. I'm very passionate about it. But yeah, going back to it, my my first anticipated game is Astro Smash, and I I love the way it's looking. I hope that somewhere in the levels that they can bring back the actual like little twirlers and and, and make them look like like almost like a like Star Wars kind of ships with that shading with like the metallic metal plates to make it, but make it actually look like that pixelated twirler. Oh, that would be amazing. Could you imagine? And then uh, <laughs> my, my next thing would be like that UFO, like the original pixelated UFO that kind of moves like this to make it some sort of machine that actually did that and showed up in those later levels. If only. 
But let's get to number two, and that would be Night Stalker. Night Stalker uh, holds a special place because me and my buddy, when I was in California at the band house, uh, we would try to see how far we could get. And we'd be like, oh my God, you know, I made it to the, the shooting robot. I made it to the white robot. I made it to the black robot. And then one day I made it to the invisible robot that destroys your bunker. Unfortunately, I've never beat him. Yeah. No, but seriously, I never beat him, but I, I, that was just one thing that we, we constantly, I think for like a month straight, every day we'd play and see how far we could get, and or how, how high of a score we get, um, and I, I think I still had, in one of my original Astro Smash boxes, I have, well, it's sealed up now, but <laughs> it's in a protective case, but I had all, in the inside, you could see pencil and pen and stuff from when I was a kid. Stuff when I was in California, stuff when I moved back to Michigan, and stuff recent of, uh, like, Astro Smash and, and Night Stalker high scores and stuff like that. But yeah, Night Stalker loved it. The gun, the robots, the spiders. What's not to love about that, right? It was just, it was just a nostalgic, nostalgic game. Now let's get into number three most ante anticipated game for Amico. Earthworm Jim 4. I want to see this game. I know we saw like a little trial run of the of, of how it's going to be animated, but I am really excited. I love me a platformer, as you all know. I just love a good platformer. You bust through, you get some power-ups, you really get your arsenal built up, and then you take on a boss, defeat that, and go on to the next level. It's something satisfying about collecting things, powering up, and, and beating bosses. I love boss battles. So yeah, Earthworm Jim, I cannot wait to see that. Um... It's just it's just one of those kooky, funny games. Uh, good music, good uh, sound effects, <laughs> and, and, and little voices. It's just hilarious, dude. And I cannot wait to see that. So that's my number three. My number four is going to be AD&D or Cloudy Mountain. I remember trading. This is another thing. Man, back, like, okay, so I was in, was I in high school or junior high? I think I was already in high school. High school, junior high. No, I'm sorry, I was in junior high school, and most people were like, oh, Nintendo and Sega and whatever else was happening at the time. And, I, and me and my buddy were like, um, he's like, I'm like, dude, do you have the, uh... <laughs> He's like, dude, I got Dungeons and Dragons for Intellivision. I'm like, oh, dude, let me check that out. Well, tell you, tell you what, that was so much fun. Little dude running around the arrows. You had to hit the button. It would go click, 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 tell you how many arrows you had. I really enjoyed that, man. I'm such a babbling person. Let, listen to me go right now. Anyways, yeah, so uh, Cloudy Mountain, that is going to be my absolute number four right there. Um <laughs> And then I'm going to have to say my number five is Burger Time. Burger Time, Burger Time, Burger Time. Um, just, I love everything about that game. The Intellivision one was close to my heart because that's the one I always played. Um, you know, the, the blue ladders. I always say, the one with the blue ladders. And um and in my arcade machine, I, I even got my arcade and it's I love my arcade machine and I played it and it's fun. But something about the sound effects and, and how it is and how it looks and how it plays and even controls on the Intellivision, the original, that I can't I can, I just to me 
I just think it looks badass. I think it's fun, you know. I ho I, I almost hope there's a level that's kind of, you know, how they did the how, how they did the Night Stalker, you know, the new Night Stalker where everything's kind of coming alive, or you see all that pixelation almost in like a two and a half D. I hope there's a level in Burger Time that goes back to this classic blue um, ladders, and 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 then you know, like the pickles are all big and pixelated. And it kind of turns around, even if it's just for a level to go to that classic screen, but make it kind of, I don't know. It's just something that I'm, I just think of in my crazy mind. But anyways, I think that's about all I have right now. So please like, please subscribe, because in my next video, we're going back to the future. Really? What, Chuck? Really a Back to the Future video right before New Year's? Yes.